Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. yeah, support free speech. All speech is free speech from all sides of the political spectrum. And we think that we think that shutting people down with violence so they can't speak is a violation of freedom of speech. So what, what kinds of people, what kinds of groups are kind of threatening free speech in America? Antifa. Antifa? Antifa? Yep. Antifa, uh, the DSA, uh, basically any group that aligns with the anti-fascist action collective. And so uh, anti-fascists, right, so they, they think that you're fascists. Uh, what, what do you, how, how do you kind of respond to their uh, targeting of you? Well, for one thing, they know that we're not fascists. We've had multiple conversations with them, and they will admit to us when we're face to face that they know we are not fascists. But we're quote unquote adjacent to fascists, or we're quote unquote a gateway drug to fascists. Something like that. I see, okay. They, they claim that even though we support free speech, even though we don't necessarily believe that violence should be the answer to speech that you don't like. They're the ones that believe that violence is the answer to speech that they don't like, and you can see that in their actions. And so when they claim that they're using violence, that it's kind of a self-defense, because in the abstract they feel like they're being uh, threatened by the speech, how, how do you respond to that? Um, unless your life is in danger, it's not self-defense. Words do not put your life in danger. There is a clear difference between incitement of violence and free speech. We don't support incitement of violence. But what they do is they try and force everybody to basically say or agree that certain bits of speech that are not incitement are indeed incitement. And it all happens to just kind of coincide with things that they, you know, that they don't like. And uh, can you tell me about the aesthetic? You're kind of a, a blue block to their black block. Yes, that's actually what we call. That's actually what we call ourselves. Uh, blue block is an anti-doxing tactic. Uh, there's a major difference. Hold up! There's a major difference between us and the black block, other than color. We just don't want to be doxed. We don't want our information to be spread and our families to be harassed and even attacked violently. Uh, they black block in order to try and cover their identities for when they commit crimes such as violence against people. So your, your masks are to prevent dogs even though you're not doing anything wrong and they're essentially the opposite. Exactly. It's, it's kind of similar to the Founding Fathers in that they used uh, pen names when they would when they would publish a lot of different works of, you know, literature. And uh, here in this internet age, uh, why continue to come out into sort of physical space rather than just uh, fight from behind a keyboard? Because a lot of people, they don't use the internet to try and stay connected to what is going on. They use it for cat videos and other things. It's good to see people outside actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, defending your right to free speech. It can make... And have people out in the streets demonstrating. Because from behind a keyboard, you can't really see the impact that that cause has, you know? And uh, lastly, can you kind of tell me about the coalition you have uh, formed here? I'm, I'm originally from Massachusetts. I don't think there was a single conservative group in the town that I grew up in. Uh, what, what's kind of the point of getting together these different uh, conservative and libertarian type groups? Well, they're the groups that choose to align with us and choose to agree with our message. We have aligned with individual socialists before, but most social groups tend to be anti-free speech, so. So you're willing to actually include left-wing groups that are pro-free yes, speech? Yes, absolutely.